Hey, have you got a collection of Lorcana cards at home and have been seeing news about stories pop up of Maleficence and Belle selling for thousands of real world dollars? That's right, there are Lorcana cards out there worth thousands of dollars, but what are they and do you have any in your collection? Lorcana, Disney's trading card game, has hit the world by storm, finally making moves into that top three monopoly that Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh have had on the TCG market since, well, forever. Attracting both veteran players and new ones alike, the Disney game has brought people of all ages together for gaming and collecting. And everyone at Dicebreaker has been genuinely loving it. We're all TCG players at heart and Lorcana has been a welcome addition to game nights with its fun theming, interesting designs and brand new possibilities phase. The art is an absolute delight, the gameplay is easy to get into with some great complexity if you start to master the cards and the community around it has been wonderful to engage with so far. But as well as playing, Lorcana is obviously highly collectible. Whether you're looking to boost your deck, pick up your favourite character or find your favourite art, there are a lot of reasons to try and collect a specific card. But like any trading card game, there are some cards that are particularly sought after. Ones that you might even have lurking in a cardboard box somewhere at home. So, we thought we'd break down the most expensive cards to see what they are and what they're going for in today's market. So, I'm Maddie from Dicebreaker and these are the most expensive Lorcana cards around right now. We're jumping into the top 10, but we have a full list of the 17 surprisingly expensive cards over on Dicebreaker.com if you want to see even more. But to start the list, we have a type of card that's been popping up a lot in the collector spheres, and that's a D23 Expo collector's set promo cards. These were the first ever Lorcana cards to be shown during the announcement of the game at Disney's D23 Expo in 2022, and could be bought as a set for $49.99. Those who did pick them up are now sitting on a lot of money if they want to sell, making back their purchase and then some. Nearly the entire D23 set has made it into this top 10, except one card which has been left out. The Robin Hood Unrivaled Archer card is in the top 20 and sold for thousands, but appears to be slightly less popular when it comes to the others in the set. With a new Disney 100 Special Edition art card on the way, the D23 promo's popularity is an indicator of what kind of things are going to be the most desired for collectors. But enough on that, let's get into the most expensive Lorcana cards to date. At number 10, with the lowest prize on this list, we have the D23 promo version of Captain Hook Forceful Duelist. The Peter Pan villain is the same as the regular version of the Steel Card available now, but has an exclusive foil treatment and that unique logo at the bottom that sets it apart. In September this year, the card fetched a whopping $3,991.28 on eBay. It was the very best version it could be graded at gem mint 10 condition by PSA, but it's clear there's a demand for this card anyway. Number nine is a strange addition to this list, as it's unlike any other card in that it isn't playable. There is an extremely rare discard card that can be found in the booster packs. These were never meant to make it into players' hands, instead they were part of the creation process and meant to be thrown away at the factory. However, a few made it through, and some of them even have a foil treatment. And ones that have the exclusive enchanted rare foiling are worth a hell of a lot. So hopefully you didn't follow the card's instructions and discard them if you ever found one, as in October this year, one went up for auction on eBay and sold for an incredible $4,000. Just for a discard card. Unreal. At 
eight is unsurprisingly another D23 promo card. These will be popping up a lot. Bloodborne cards are all really creative and have lovely art and are definitely some of my favorites, so I can see why this adorable Stitch Rockstar card is a desirable purchase. And one in mint condition reached $4,050 at auction in October. Seven is a very popular Lorcana character generally, and that's Elsa. She's got a lot of powerful cards in the first chapter set, and a specific Spirit of Winter card with the enchanted rare foiling and alternative art has sold for up to $4,500 on eBay in August this year. Six is just a small price creep with another D23 promo card. Yep, we're basically going through the whole set of the six. This time it's Maleficent Monstrous Dragon, one of Disney's most iconic villains and a powerful Lorcana card in its own right. Dragonfire banishes a character on entry and it can challenge for seven damage, which is going to banish most characters in one hit. Oof. <laughs> With the special D23 edition, this commanding ruby card reached $4,508 in September this year. At five, we have once again another D23 card. I promise there are a couple left that aren't from this set, but as I said, nearly all of the original are in the top 10. Cruella de Vil, another iconic villain, is reaching big bucks. Something I'm sure she'd be happy about as someone desperately after the most unique, luxurious items, no matter the cost. In May this year, before Lorcana had even launched to the world, her card sold for $4,544.32 on eBay. At four and three, we have two enchanted rare Lorcana cards that have sold for the same amount. The Emerald card Genie on the Job and Steel Simba Returned King both feature alternative artwork to the standard versions with a unique foiling. The new art is a lovely collector's piece to have and they're both beloved characters from most of our childhoods. So it's no surprise that these are highly desired finds and both of them sold for $5,000 in August each. At number two, we're onto the penultimate D23 card and significantly jumping up in price with the Snow Queen Elsa. Her ability to exert a chosen character makes her undeniably an incredibly powerful card in play, especially for only three ink. And her art looks lovely in the shimmery D23 edition of the foiling. So when a gray 10 mint card went up for auction in October, it managed to reach $7,050 on eBay. So if you have one, put it in a sleeve right now. And finally, at the number one spot, the most expensive Lorcana card ever sold to date is the D23 version of Disney's mascot, Mickey Mouse. Not only that, but the Brave Little Taylor card, which has kind of become a key art piece for the first chapter release. It's a really lovely design based on the short film from 1938 of the same name that featured Mickey reenacting an old fairy tale in classic Disney style. So with all that history behind it, impressive design and the D23 editions, in July of this year, once again before Lorcana had even launched, a mint condition card sold for a full 10 thousand dollars. Yeah, that is a lot of money for a very special card. It's understandably set the record to date, but with the demand for a reprint growing and people seeing the collectability of Lorcana only going up, could the prices reach even new heights? If you're looking to get into Lorcana, don't worry, you don't have to shell out thousands of dollars to pick up cards. The second chapter set is on the way next week, releasing on November 17th, 2023. And every card I've seen so far has me incredibly 
incredibly excited. And we even have a sneak peek of the new cards releasing and a first look at the full set on the channel and our social account. So make sure to subscribe and follow us at Join Dice Breaker on TikTok, Instagram, and beyond. You can also keep up to date with daily news on Lorcana and all things tabletop by heading over to our website, dicebreaker.com. Have you been enjoying Lorcana so far and are there cards you're excited to check out? Let us know in the comments. I'm personally obsessed with the Honey Wizard art and cannot wait to pick up a playmat with Winion, even if it's not the most powerful card coming up. But until the next time, enjoy counting down the days till set two releases and have a lovely day.